Hi everyone. I'm gonna make broiler breeder nutrition and management series, which will be several episodes. And the reason that I'm splitting it to the several uh, episodes is that I'm gonna keep them short and sweet. So you can follow the episodes and you can ask any questions that you might have. So let's get started. So as I said, I'm gonna talk about broiler breeder nutrition and management. It is part one. So I'm gonna talk about parents, but not human parents. We are going to talk about parent stock of meat type chickens which we call them broiler breeders. So their offspring will be broiler chickens or meat type chickens that we are eating routinely in our meals. So if you had babies in your life, you know that you needed to uh, take them to pediatrician to track their growth trajectory and see if they are growing on the target body weight or not. We do have same thing for the broiler breeders as well, because if we do not control their body weight, they're gonna be really fat. And as a result of that, their reproduction will suffer. So what we need to know that broiler breeder growth management is not an easy task. The reason, as I said, is that broiler breeders are located between broilers, meat type chickens, and egg type chickens. It means that they have a high potential for growth, but on the other hand, they are supposed to produce fertile eggs. And because growth and reproduction, you know, are contradictory, elements that's why we really need to manage this problem and make a balance between growth and reproduction it means that we really need to optimize the body weight and body weight gain and the solution for this is through implementing feed restriction programs to control excessive growth and to prevent the female broiler breeders from reaching their potential growth. So we do have two types of feed restriction programs, qualitative feed restriction and quantitative feed restriction. For the qualitative one, actually you are going to dilute the diet and make it bulky by adding some fibrous stuff. For example, like by adding soybean hulls, wheat bran, oat hull, alfalfa meal, sugar beet pulp, wheat middlings. So you are going to actually uh, control their feed intake. But the better way is to use quantitative feed restriction. And in this category, we do have daily feed restriction. It means that you are feeding your birds every day, but with restricted amounts of feed. Or you are using skip a day feeding. It means that you are uh, feeding your birds every other day. Or for three feeding program, it means that in a week, you, you need to feed your birds for four days and for the three remaining days they will be off feed but pay attention that these three days will not be in a row they shouldn't be fast for three consecutive days no we really need to split those off feed days through a week and i'll explain it later on or you can use a 5-2 feeding program it means that for five days in a week you are feeding your birds and two days of feed so here 
I have shown you how it really works. For a skip a day feeding program, you can see the program for two consecutive weeks. And uh, starting from Sunday is a feed day. And then one means you are feeding on that day. Again, zero on Tuesday, it means that you are not feeding your birds and so on. If you are using for three feeding program, it means that you won't feed your birds for three days. But as I mentioned, you need to split these of feed days through a week. For example, here you can see on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, uh, you don't feed your birds, but for the other days, you are feeding them with, uh, you know, a predetermined amount of feed. And for the 5 2 feeding program, actually, what you are doing is you, you are not feeding your birds for two days. And again, you have expelled these two days through a week. So, for example, on Sundays and Thursday, uh, they are off feed days. And for the other days, you are feeding your birds. So, if you actually look at the skip a day feeding program, you can see for two weeks in a row, you don't have a consistent feeding program. Look at the first week. How many days are you feeding them in the in first week? So on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three days in first week. What about for the second week? You are feeding them on Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, four days. So it's not consistent. And by that, you know, you might have some uh, logistic problems around feeding and the labor stuff. That's why if you stick with four three feeding program or five two feeding program, your logistic will be smooth and you will be consistent through different weeks. So, here I'm going to explain a little bit about feed allocation in different feed restriction programs, but I will dive more deeply into this in the next episode. So, for the first step, we need to actually um, divide seven days worth of feed over the number of feeding days in a week. It means that we need to calculate how much feed do we need for seven days. It means that we need to multiply daily feed intake, expected daily feed intake, by seven days to get the um, seven days worth of feed. For example, if our birds are going to consume 100 gram feed every day, by multiplying it by seven, uh, we need to have 700 grams per week per bird uh, the feed intake. So, if we are using daily feeding, daily feeding, or let's say daily feed restriction, it means that daily feed intake will be 700 divided by seven days of week, which is 100 grams per day. So, if you are feeding your birds every day, you need to allocate 100 gram per day per bird. But, if you are using 5-2 program, it means that you are going to uh, 
feed them on for five days and for the rest of two days they will be off feed in that case daily feed intake will be 700 divided by five days it means that for every day for that five days you need to feed them 140 grams per day per, per birth so what about for three program so in that case actually you are eliminating the feed for three days and for four days you need to feed them so you are going to divide that uh, 700 seven day worth of feed by four days because you are feeding only four days so in each day you need to feed them 175 gram per day per bird for that four days and of course for the three days they will be off feed so but how should we calculate daily feed intake expected daily feed intake i will explain it in the next episode and also i will touch on other managerial stuff which are really important in broiler breeder production in the next episodes okay have a fun and have a great day and see you in the next episode